And welcome back to Square Off. Arizona's history and prehistory are caught in a battle between the state's ranchers and Native American tribes. A bill before the legislature would cut trained archaeologists out of the work of identifying historic artifacts on state land. The tribes say that puts their history in the hands of amateurs. Antonia Farzan writes about the clash in the Phoenix New Times. Welcome back to Square Off. Thank you. So talk about the kind of artifacts that are typically found by these archaeologists on state land. Sure, so we're talking about pottery shards, sometimes ancient burial sites. You could have a thousand-year-old path that to an untrained person would look just like a cattle trail. So really very subtle things. We're generally not talking about a Pueblo, for instance. Okay, so not huge finds. And these are professionals now doing the work. Right, yeah, the people who are doing the work now have been, um, they've been certified by the state and they generally will have a bachelor's degree and at least two years of experience, but usually much more. We're talking master's, PhD, multiple graduate degrees. And why is this so important to the tribes? Well, it's their history that we're talking about. Um, anything that you're finding that's um, on state land that's an ancient archaeological site is probably part of one tribe's history or another. So the ranchers want to do something different. Uh, they want to make it easier to use the state land. What is their stake in state land versus their own land? Right. So you have a lot of ranchers who are using state land um, and who are essentially leasing it from the state. If they want to make any changes, like for example, putting in a fence, drilling a well, they need to get permission from the state. And that's where this whole process with archaeology archaeologist comes in. So they, they want that process mm -hmm. to be a lot easier so they can get to whatever they want on the land. Right, because it's a, it's a long complicated process and the ranchers have to pay for the archaeologists to do the survey so it's expensive for them too. So who would do the surveys instead? It would be what they're calling a para-archaeologist. A para-archaeologist. Para mm -hmm. Could I be a para-archaeologist? If you take a 26-hour class, yes, and so can a rancher as well, which is a potential conflict of interest. And so that would make things go a lot faster, and yet there are concerns that artifacts, somebody, a para-archaeologist para might not know what to look for. Is that the biggest one? Right, exactly. Um, the way it was explained to me by a professional archaeologist is that you might have someone who sees a bunch of pottery shards lying on the ground. They say, okay, here's an archaeological site, so we're going to move this, you know, 150 feet away. But if you do that, you might just be moving the project through a burial ground. So you have to really know what to look for. Okay, next step for the bill? Um, it's going through the House for Reconciliation, and then we'll be landing on Governor Ducey's desk. So this could very well become law. All right, Antonia Farzan, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.